around the corner from a hotel. It's uh, one of those indoor markets. It's a street market. You need to find them. You need to just about every half a mile or something like that. It's called the Kuromon Market. Been through here yesterday. I'm just going to give you a wish um, show us what you can see. It sells like seafood, cooked food, um, goldfish, meat. Hello. I like these wee capsule things for sale. Fruit's not cheap here. I think it'll be healthy. <laughs> like strawberries are like five pounds for half a dozen. Roger B. Look at the size of those crab claws. I'm only interested in the moment for coffee and a cake. It's just too early to eat anything for me. But that's the culture here, you just eat, eat, eat. looks like in Japan. You're okay? <coughs> and seriously, 500 yen for like three strawberries and three grapes on it. Really? Anyway, that's what it is. Shooting amusement with the air guns. Hi, please. Back in there. Egg. And so I've got a lot of water, some sort of soup base as well, a meat, radish, don't know what that is, an egg. You get five items for a thousand yen. Meat with cheer. Good flavour though. Very nice. Do you know what that is? Mm. It's all seafood. It's very, very nice. I think it's like, it's due to its life, but no sun, it's really, really nice. Well, of radish. Mm. You know, so it's, it's wet and cold. This is brilliant. I'm trying to get this kind of pancake or whatever it is. This thing here. I don't know what it is, but. Mm. Fish cake. Mm. Egg. Oh, mm. Mm. That's so good. The only thing I would say is, these things are a bit chewy, but... Not mildly keen, but it just tastes good. Mm. Oh, that broth is so good. Mm. Anyway.
you know that uh, stew was actually bloody good quite full now even though I could do some rice with it but it was uh, good as it was and yeah expensive yes delicious yes so who cares in Japan you just can't, you just can't go to Japan and say very expensive and don't spend stuff so yeah do expect kind of higher prices but that's what it is see if I can find something else to do still raining no. So we're heading to Kyoto. So we need to take the Sakishiji line to Hankyu Kyoto line. So it's a right. so let's go and do this. English, English, English. No, 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 When you wear it upstairs like this, best to go into the uh, railway line underground, what you call it. It's like a whole new world underneath. Never think existed, only in Japan. After all that kerfuffle, we had to go to the train to, to Osaka station and then we get an express line to Kyoto st uh, station. That's what the line is at all, it's a rapid train. It takes about 40 minutes to get there. And it's super busy as usual. There's Japan. We're getting on, we're getting on, yeah. we're getting on. If you know if they chuck someone off, <laughs> we're getting on. Okay, see, yes, Okay. That's what you said in there, you go, you're a nightmare for train stations, big tickets. We went to train for a thought we were going to Ainari and we got to what's it called? Tufukuji. We realised that the train doesn't stop in the Inari, so we'll just uh, have to uh, change what we see first and foremost. This place is actually quite nice. Maybe narrow roads, a wee little uh, houses. It's got nice wee uh, buildings and shops all around us. So we're six minutes from the one of the temples here, which is uh must be quite nice, so gonna have we wander down there. Well we saw this. Oh my god, that's a dragon burger. Where's where's beard meets food? You can have that. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Oh, maybe later. Just yeah. Well, we had something to eat already, so we okay. might come back. Thank you. Good yeah. night. Yeah. yeah. I 
I think someone forgot to tell us that uh, it's not open on a Saturday morning. Temple, smashing. Weather, not so good. <laughs> anyway, we've got about 10 minutes walk to the, um, the Nari, whatever it is it's called, shrine. I did suggest to Craw that, being the Craw, I could sneak in and uh, if he sees anybody, it's just shout my name, goes quack, quack, like that, you know. Hey, Craw, Craw, quack, yeah, okay. <laughs> I have witnessed the first cherry blossom in Japan. There it is! The first one! Oh, yeah, there's a wee miniature one over there. That's it. My trip to Japan has been fulfilled. Let's go back home. <laughs> we have arrived in the Inari Shrine at last. I thought we had to do another half a mile, but no shouting, smoking, entering restricted area, and blah blah blah. So we came through this gate thinking there's no one else here, must be closed. Walked about 100 yards, open to this. In case you want to uh, have a wee look uh, around the whole place, you can start there, which we are in a moment, and walk all the way up to the hill and back down again. Doesn't say how long it takes you to walk around it. We got a psychedelic effect, doesn't it? Interesting fact. Should be uh, concrete, maybe. Interesting fact. Go this way. You don't see anything, but if you go other way, you see the Kanjai writings. Well, I think it's Kanjai. Anyway, the characters. See that model? Well, that was uh, that was well worth coming here. See that last 400, uh, 40 minute trek up to Sea Mount uh, Yutami. Oh, Yutami, what was his name? Uh, it's like, beautiful. Yeah. I didn't realise you, you were that fit. You, you were like, it only took us like five minutes to get up there. I don't know, three and a half minutes to get back then. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't do the 40 minute uh, trek as you can probably see. It was just like, it takes 40 minutes each way, so it would be pitch black and. Uh, just too dangerous when after being a heavy rain. So it's just unfortunate but hey ho. Just one of those things. We're back down now. We're gonna go down to the um train station. Train station, but uh, I think there's like shops down there, so have a quick glimpse of those, but I would imagine they're just typical touristy shops as you expect. So maybe presently surprised, but um we'll wait and see. 
here we are back to the starting point <laughs> 